Hi everyone, uh, welcome back to the channel. My name is Masood. In today's video, we're gonna be talking about what respiratory physios do and what respiratory physio is all about. So respiratory physio is usually um, when you're involved with people who are uh, having problems with their chest, either they have um, shortness of breath or they have some sort of condition which um, doesn't allow them to be able to clear their lungs of built up mucus. So because of that, um, their oxygen uh, or their normal levels of a, or their ability to take in oxygen is uh, depleting. And basically this means that they are um, being unable to, to breathe. And uh, usually the people who have these kind of conditions are people who have COPD. So this is chronic obstructive pulmonary disease, um, CF, cystic fibrosis or they might just have a severe case of asthma. Um, and uh, basically your job or what you're kind of doing as a physio is you might be mobilizing these, these people. So you might be getting them up from their bed uh, and walking with them. And, or you might just be positioning them uh, in a better position. So they might be really slouched and, um, you know, just uh, not in a good position basically so in, in, in their bed. And your job is to help them to speak to them and get them up and um, in a better position where they're using more of the diaphragm to take in uh, their breathing. Uh, believe it or not, this has a huge impact on their like uh, on their SATs. Um, and so uh, there's a lot of research to suggest that just by changing your positioning, um, you're actually going to improve your ability to uh, recover from whatever you're um, suffer, you know, whatever you're dealing with by taking in more oxygen, more blood is able to go to different areas of your body. Therefore, you're able to recover better and function better. And therefore, your like normal SATs, which is basically um, the levels, uh, like basically your, your, um, your oxygen levels, uh, and, and yeah, how much oxygen is in your blood, the saturation of oxygen, saturation of oxygen in your blood. Gosh, this is really testing me, by the way. I, I haven't thought about this stuff since I left uni, but um, yeah, saturation of oxygen in your blood, all those things are going to be improved just by changing your positioning, just by walking. Um, and other things that physios do are generally helping to um, ex extract the secretions or the built up mucus, as I said. They do that through things like percussions, uh, vibrations and shakes, um, doing the active cycle of breathing, which is a technique involved to help the patient to cough up whatever they have. Sounds pretty disgusting, but you know, it, it, is, it does actually help the patient a lot and this is what uh, physios do. Uh, in an ICU example, um, it might be a little bit more intense than that. So the patient might be uh, in critical care and their secretions are not allowing them to be able to breathe and their sats are dropping and so the consultant might say for the physio to do chest physio as they like to call it and that's where they would work with the patient to do that sort of thing first of all by chaining the, doing the easiest things first so positioning first and then perhaps doing some uh, percussions um, you know, all these things depend on the actual patient and the situation, but these are just kind of things that the chest, that's the respiratory physio would do. Um, you might be working with like, you know, children who have cystic fibrosis, um, which is, don't ask me to explain actually, but, um, <laughs> uh, you know, people basically who have breathing problems and uh, as a physio, you're there to help them to improve their breathing. So yeah. Hope that was helpful and, uh, you know, and uh, if you enjoyed it, don't forget to like, comment down and I will see you guys in the next one. Cheers. Bye bye.